From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Hey there, welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Anna Tarullo. Tonight, the Kentucky baseball team prepares for its final run, ramping up to the postseason. We'll talk about that with play-by-play -play man Darren Hetrick. We'll also preview tomorrow's NFL draft with Josh Edwards from CBS Sports. That's a little later on, but we'll start on the diamond because the UK baseball team is headed into the home stretch of its season with hopes of an NCAA run. That is tonight's Big Blue Story, presented by Baptist Health. Kentucky was back in action last night against in-state rival EKU for the second time this season. The Cats needed a spark to launch another comeback, and Colton Kessler and Ryan Ritter delivered as Kentucky erased a four-run deficit and claimed a 7-6 victory for a third consecutive win. So what are the team's strengths and how can they capitalize on those for this final part of the season? Well, for that and more, let's check in with Darren Hedrick of the UK Sports Network. Darren, before we get into the baseball talk, we hear you hosted a special guest while calling the UK Kentucky or the Kentucky EKU game last night. What was it like hanging out with a national champion, Kentucky Volleyball's Madison Lilly? Well, it wasn't just a national champion. It was the player of the year, <laughs> national player of the year. Uh, Madison and I had a lot of fun in the second inning there hanging out. And uh, it was just great talking to her and reliving the experience that they had out in Omaha, defeating Texas for the championship and just the long season that this team endured and how disciplined they were to stay with it over the course of the calendar to get to that point and win the championship. And like I said, the celebration, it was just so much fun to have her up there. And uh, it was fun to, to hear about that national championship. Obviously a big deal. All right, let's get to some baseball now. The Cats offense has been a little streaky so far, but two key contributors have brought consistency at the plate. Seniors TJ Collette and Colton Kessler. Uh, listen to what Collette had to say after the weekend win over Alabama. Going into the weekend, we had a bunch of the guys that have been here and Coach Minge, like, it was a point in the season where we could decide to turn it on and do something. I mean, if, it, if we would have lost two or three games this weekend, it would have been a tough turnaround. Um, so, I mean, we were just honest with each other. Uh, we held each other accountable and we just, we just knew we had to win. So, that first loss was tough, but we knew coming into today, anybody can get hot for a day. Collette has now reached the 40 home run mark in his career, good for second all time at Kentucky, and he earned SEC Co-Player of the Week and Co-National Player of the Week honors. Darren, he's certainly been a leader. I don't know what he's like in the dugout, but as, as far as his play, he is leading this team. He is. He's leading this team on the field and in the dugout. He is one of the great, best guys you can ever talk to around this program. He's a huge representative for Kentucky, but Right now, what he's doing at the plate is just incredible. He's forcing pitchers to choose. Do I pitch to T.J. Collette or do I pitch to one of these other great bats in the lineup for the Wildcats? And it has been so fun to watch now that he's been fully healthy for a year. He's feeling great, playing great at first base. And I, like you guys saw over the weekend, he's killing the baseball. <laughs> now, Darren, UK has also had to push through issues with pitching following the loss of starter Mason Hazelwood to a season-ending injury. But Sean Harney and Zach Lee stepped up during the Alabama series. Listen to what Zach had to say. I mean, today was really huge for our team. We just needed to come out, get two good wins, put us back in even, and just keep winning games on the weekend. Hopefully it keeps us going in the SEC. Now, Darren, this is like the team you just can't count out. How have they been able to be so adaptable this season? Well, I think it all starts with the chemistry of this team in the locker room and in that dugout. This is a group that has come together. They've had a lot of adversity in the offseason and more than most teams even during the pandemic year. And it's brought this group closer and they have a desire to win. There is a competitiveness and edge about this team. And I think that's what's been the big difference. So even when it looks like their shoulders are to the mat, this team continues to fight back all the time. And it was great to see Zach have such an outstanding start on Sunday. All right, so here's what uh, games remain for the Wildcats, including key series with SEC opponents, Tennessee, Florida, South Carolina, and Vandy. Darren, Kentucky has a chance to earn some big wins to bolster its NCAA tournament resume. What stands out to you when you look at this schedule? Well, I think there's opportunities to win at home. Florida and South Carolina are both ahead of you. In fact, all four teams are right now in the East, but Florida and South Carolina have been up and down like Kentucky this year. Those are opportunities to get home series victories over quality opponents 
and you feel like where Kentucky is right now at nine and nine, if they can somehow get to 14 wins or even get to 500 at 15 and 15, not only do they have a chance to be in the NCAA regionals, guys, they have a chance to host. That's how competitive the SEC is. And so I think those are the two critical series. And then you have to figure out a way to steal one, maybe two on the road against Tennessee and Vanderbilt. Oh, they got this. But let's talk some women's basketball now since you also handle those games for Kentucky. The program has added Hall of Famer Gail Guest. And of course, she's so cool to Kyra Elsie's coaching staff in her exclusive interview with us last night. Gail said the one word she used to describe her is passionate. And Darren, I would have to agree. She seems like she's not just passionate about the game, but about being a teacher of the game. In between coaching, since she's even had her own coaching consulting uh, business, what are your first impressions of Coach Gestoncores and what she'll bring to the program? Well, I remember when she was coaching at Duke and she was beating elite teams like UConn when they were on their big run under Coach Ariema and they beat Tennessee and Knoxville under the legendary Pat Summit. That's something most teams weren't able to do during that era. So that's what I remember about her. But she is an incredible coach. I think it's a home run hire to add the Coach Elsey staff because she can help this team with the X's and O's. She can help with recruiting and she brings that experience that everybody looks for in a staff, somebody that they can all turn to and rely on because she's been there and she knows how to win. And so I think it's just a, a tremendous hire. Uh, I love the experience. I love the fact that she stepped away for a while and mm -hmm. realized she missed it so much that she had to be back in it. So I think she's going to be really excited to be a part of this staff. Darren, thanks so much for your time and uh, good luck with all those calls with UK baseball. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Always a pleasure to catch up with you. All right. Thank you. We are just 24 hours away, though, from night one of the NFL draft. We'll talk about the pro possibilities for former cats with CBS Sports' Josh Edwards. That's next on BBN Tonight.